I bought a ARF signal generator from AliExpress, but it's giving no output at all. Sending it back to uh, AliExpress would be the easiest way, but what's the fun of that? Let's see how it works and if you can repair it. Welcome on my channel. I connected the generator to my spectrum analyzer and as you can see there is no output at all. Let's open it and see what's inside. I removed the stand and there are only four screws to remove. And it's open and see what a small uh, PCB. Let me see how to remove the PCB in a correct way. The PCB is uh, locked in place with two screws, but it's also glued in at the DC connector, as you can see. And the white stuff is pretty hard to, co uh, to get through. Yeah, and the PCB is out. Let's see if we can spot something obvious. Wow, they didn't clean the PCB. There's really flux everywhere. The wires for the switch are also soldered and uh, covered in that white stuff also, but let's deal with that later. Let's see if I can spot something more under the microscope. Yeah, this is what I call a very dirty PCB. There's flux everywhere. But not only flux, but also plastics and solder balls. And could this uh, solder balls short something out?
It looks like uh, the crystal is not uh, soldered correctly. I tried to correct it here with uh, my solder iron, but eventually I took it out and installed it again with, uh, with my hot air station. I went completely in the wrong direction. I measured RF signals from the RF generator, but this appeared to be completely wrong. My ring light for the microscope generated a huge RF interference signal, which I interpreted from the RF signal generator. I'm working here with extremely small signals, so the error was easily made. Because of this error, I replaced the AT108 attenuator. But now it comes. The RF generator came back to life. But the radio is not working correctly, the output signal is going on and off. I removed the radio chip and resoldered it, but then the generator doesn't work at all anymore. So it can't be something else than the faulty radio chip. I ordered them at AliExpress. In the meantime I decided to make my life a little bit easier and installed a connector to the on-off switch. So I can separate the front panel completely from the main PCB while working on it. I received the AT1846 chips from AliExpress. I removed the chip here from the PCB. Before I install the new chip, I remove the old solder from the pads. I clean the PCB with isopropanol alcohol.
Before I solder the chip on the PCB, I prepare it by putting some solder on the pads. Now the pads get some solder to it. TQFN packages are not difficult to solder, but you have to practice it a few times. Make sure the position is right, take your time. After the solder is cooled down a bit, resolder the TQFN package and put a little bit of pressure on it to push the chip down. After cleaning the PCB, let's see if the generator is functioning now.
Now it's back together again in the final test. It's working, thank you for watching my channel.